Okay, so we hear something in these trees behind us. Something decently big. Yeah, it's huge. What's up, you guys? What's up, everybody? <laughs> How's it going? We hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and had an even more fantastic weekend. Nate and I are about to go on a scooter ride. We got our helmets on. Safety first. Adventure of a lifetime. Oh yeah. Because the girls are actually still working right now. They cannot join, sadly. We got the day off. <laughs> we do have the day off, yeah. So we got our two scooters here. These scooters, you guys, we got off of Amazon from Hi Boy. I will put a link for them in the description below. But we absolutely love these things. We've done a vlog on it. But anyways, enough of that. We are gonna go ride and have a fun time. All right. Okay guys, so we just got to Hugh Taylor Birch State Park and this is the first time that we've had to actually come here and explore it. And luckily we have our scooters. So we're gonna try to see as much of this park as we possibly can. And then later on this week, hopefully come back again with the girls and just go see the highlights. Guys, we were just saying, look how many birds there are up here. They are huge. Wow. They're like the size of hawks. And there's tons of them, they just keep coming. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, we're gonna go explore something else right now. Apparently there's a big banyan tree, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, banyan tree. Okay, so we just got here and honestly, it's like right off the road, it's not very far. Big old tree. Yeah, this thing is huge. <laughs> Take a look at this thing. Hello. <laughs> Look at the size of that tree. That is insane. That is seriously so big. This is like the tree off of Avatar. I think it's like Awa. I don't know if you guys even know what I'm talking about, but if you guys do know what I'm talking about, maybe comment down below. <laughs> but this thing is huge. Wow. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is one tree. Crazy. Wow. So this super nice lady right here, she was just telling me that you can stand inside the tree and she was not kidding. This is all one tree? I believe so. I think it's very old and so it kind of shoots out a branch and then it sends down another trunk. Yeah. And so all of this has come out. Wow. So guys, basically it all stems from here and as the branches grow out, they will branch off and grow down and then basically become like the base of the tree again. That is just crazy. And of course, Nate is already climbing up. Yep. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept my helmet on. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have seen a tree like this before. Maybe you guys even have one in your neighborhood, but if you do, definitely comment down below because this is just insane. I mean, this is probably the highlight of the park is seeing something like this. Just then. Oh my gosh, that's a huge bird. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so the mosquitoes are actually starting to come out. It's getting like a little bit dusk right now, or dawn. I don't know which one it is. Which one is it? Dusk, dusk. or dawn? Dusk. I had it right the first time. <laughs> so it's getting dusk right now, so we're gonna head on out. Look out for animals. So supposedly there's all sorts of different things. So we're just trying to hear any noises as we scooter along. One thing we both noticed is how insanely quiet it is. So we've been able to hear a little bit of wildlife and see a little bit of wildlife, but unfortunately we have not been able to capture a lot of the wildlife because by the time we pull out the camera, they are gone. But I'm hoping that we can get some while on this little ride. This is way pretty. If you guys are ever in Fort Lauderdale, I would highly recommend coming to this park because we're like the only ones here. Okay, so one of our favorite things about this park, you guys, is that it does a full loop and on one side is the beach and on the other side is this. Isn't that so cool? So this is the intercoastal waterway that goes alongside the beach 
and it's honestly just so peaceful right now. I mean, we're here at sunset, just so pretty, so peaceful. We're definitely gonna have to come back with the girls here at nighttime because this is awesome. Meanwhile. Oh, getting a daredevil. You're not actually gonna do it, are you? <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. Easy. Oh my gosh, that is a minimal margin of error. <laughs> that looks pretty cool though. <laughs> Don't do it, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we hear something in these trees behind us. Something decently big. Yeah, it's huge. Oh yeah, it's the birds. Oh, it is? Yeah, they're like trying to get into that tree. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you guys this. Oh, wow. Oh, you see the birds right there? What are they doing? All right, we weren't able to figure that out, but I think our best guess is that they are building a nest of some sort. Okay, so we decided to take the long way back, and Nate saw this empanada. It's an Argentine place. Yeah, Argentine place. So he served a mission in Argentina for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And as we were driving past, he's like, oh my gosh, we have to eat at this place, so. Yeah, I never have Argentine food, so I had to stop by. <laughs> okay, so we're at the Argentino Las Olas. Pretty authentic, they brought empanadas, which is a super classic Argentine dish, and a whole bunch of other Argentine foods that you'd only get in town in Argentina. So one of the things that we just got is a dessert, is that right? Yeah, these are alfajores, so they're filled with dulce de leche, which is kind of like caramel. So what was it like, dude, in Argentina? It was amazing. So yeah. I, I was there for two whole years. That's crazy. I, I took a break from college for two years, and yeah. I was down in the Patagonia. No so way. Right in the middle of the Andes Mountains. It was just beautiful. Just that. mountains as far as the eye can see. That is so cool, yeah. dude. That's it's awesome. Che Guevara's from. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, after we eat some empanadas, we're going to head on back home. Look. See how they compare. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Looks pretty legit. Mm. How is it, man? In comparison. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Tastes authentic? Mm -hmm. That's dope, dude. Super good. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Alright guys, we just got back home and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, these little bad boys were amazing. We rode on those things for like three hours and they lasted the entire time. Anyways, we are back home now and I am actually with the missus. What's up you guys? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've not been in the vlog at all today. No. Let's just say real life started again. I know. Back to Vacation's work. Vacation's <laughs> over. Back to work. So it's always so rough going back to work after you've had a long break, which yes. I'm super, super grateful. Yeah. Our company gives off Christmas Eve through New Year's Day. Which is awesome. And then there was the weekend as well. So yeah. we even got a few extra days, which is so awesome. Mm -hmm. But it's always rough getting back to work after you've had such a nice vacation. <laughs> and luckily though, today was kind of overcast and it was a little bit yeah. on the chilly side. I don't know if you talked about that at all. And when we say chill, you like... Yeah, you can probably tell. I did not talk about it, but you can kind of see from what I'm wearing. Yeah, it was like in the mid-70s-ish, but yeah. it's been in the 80s and sunny. And so today it's kind of nice because it's like, okay, the sun's not out. I, yeah. I don't feel too bad I'm not at the beach. <laughs> so it kind of worked out that way. But I've just been working all day at a ton of ton of work to catch up on. So it's been kind of a crazy stressful day. I'm sure all of you guys can relate. So I won't ramble about that, but yeah, I just worked today, got caught up. So it feels good though to get back in the swing of things. But Shell and I actually had our own little bit of fun, you could say. If you might see some bags back there. Yeah. We may have gone to Home Goods <laughs> and TJ Maxx and did some shopping for our bedroom oh, and living room. Shopping never ends. It never ends. <laughs> I don't want to take you back there to show it all because I don't want to give it away, but you guys, it's going to be darling. I cannot <laughs> wait. It's going to be like this coastal, beautiful theme, and it's, ah, I'm so, so excited. So I cannot wait to show you guys that. So many of you mentioned, I asked if you want to see our place kind of just one big room reveal or if you want to see things piece by piece. And most of you guys said piece by piece, which really surprised me. But because you said that, we will do it that way. So 
We'll show you our couch when it comes in, but I thought today we would show you our bar stools yes. in detail. You can say we are in love with them. Yeah, we love them. So, Jay, you wanna hop off and we'll show them? Look how cute these bar stools are. So I found these from Marshalls of all places. I feel like they go perfectly with the theme we're going with, kind of that nautical coastal theme. I'm not gonna say beachy, but I want to. <laughs> They're made out of rope on the back and it's this really cool pattern. It's really sturdy and it's super comfy to sit in. It also kind of reminds me of a harp, <laughs> but beautiful kind of a tan color on the back and then the legs are this, this really pretty kind of distressed wood color that I feel like goes really, really well with our coffee table and chairs. And then the cushion, it kind of almost feels like an outdoor cushion. It feels really durable and the fabric's thick, but it actually has a zipper, which is awesome because then if you spill on it, you can just throw these in the washing machine, which is super nice, especially being kitchen bar stools, because I feel like they're for sure gonna get food on them, so that's really, really nice. And then I feel like the height of them is perfect for our countertop. So these are countertop height bar stools. You can get the bar height ones, which our outdoor ones are, so they're a little bit taller, but we really wanted the counter height so that when we're eating here, as you can tell, your legs go under the counter. They're also super wide. Like Jared, come sit down. Jared's a big guy and he fits super comfy in here. Oh, and our little fin me too. Our little hyper fin to jump up to. Oh, oh, there he goes. Good job, good. You got hot, buddy. Good job. You say hi to everyone? No. <laughs> so yeah, look. They're super comfy, tall. I love how it crosses underneath there. It has a footrest right here that you can rest your feet on. I just think they are perfect. I love that they match our little wood piece right here <laughs> and kind of set the theme for the family room. So you guys, we are so, so excited about the bar stool. Oh, they're amazing. They're so comfortable. Yeah, Jared likes them, Needle Finners likes mm -hmm. them. I gotta show you guys as well. So tomorrow, make sure you come back I have our rug here. This is the back side of it. We're gonna unroll our rug so you guys can see what that looks like. Almost there. Now we just need our couch and then our few final little touches. Some of those things I got today from Home Goods. It was so <laughs> funny. I called Jared. Me and Michelle called Jared and Nate. We're like, hey, can you come help us? And Jared's like, oh yeah, did you grab groceries? I go, yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. And he, he comes and he opens the door. He's like, oh no. And I was like, oh yes. I think that is gonna do it for us for the vlog yes. today. If you happen to be new here, make sure you subscribe, come back tomorrow, come see our new rug, come see this little guy. Also, we wanna do an updated Q&A. We have not done a Q&A for quite a while. We know there's a lot of new faces around here. We've had a lot of developments in our life, so drop any questions you have for us down below and we will be doing a Q&A this week as well. Okay hey guys, well, we absolutely love you. Thanks for hanging out with us today, mostly Jared. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that scooter ride. Yeah. And uh, we will see you all tomorrow. See you guys, love you, bye. bye.